Welcome back everyone, it's the Bourbon Judge. Happy 4th of July, hopefully you're enjoying your day, enjoying some great weather, barbecuing, whatever's on the grill, I'm sure it probably tastes good. <laughs> I'm about to go grill myself right now. Um, but most important, hopefully you're enjoying this day with some family, some friends, and nothing says 4th of July by celebrating with our juice, America's juice, which is uh, good old bourbon. All right, folks, so, uh, you know, I figured it's kind of change up a little bit. So, you know, a lot of times when we're out there, we love visiting different distilleries, and you'll see a distillery has a barrel select. So a single barrel, that's supposed to be like top of the line, barrel proof, but it comes with an extra price tag, right? Typically, you're paying a little bit more for it. And you're probably wondering, like me, how good are barrel proof barrel selects from, a, from whatever distillery you happen to go to? So... With that in mind, we're going to go ahead and check out today none other than Kentucky Peerless Distilling Company. And this one in particular is uh, a single barrel I got from a uh, Peerless uh, Distillery, uh, which is located, by the way, in Louisville, Kentucky. This one here is the Cowboy. So this is a single barrel. And again, the point is not so much how good or just, you know, this version itself, the Cowboy, in general, if you go to Peerless or if you go somewhere else. How good are distillery single barrel picks? They're barrel proof, but they're also <laughs> up there in the wallet proof as well, right? You're gonna pay a little bit more for typically for single barrel, barrel proof uh, uh, barrels. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pour this bad boy. So I was fortunate enough, uh, I think it was about, gosh, I think it was like Memorial Day weekend, I think it was, right? Yeah, it was Memorial Day weekend, I think it was. I was um, visiting family back in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, me, everyone knows Cousin Anita, uh, and my family, we all drove out to Louisville. We hit up uh, Peerless, and I've heard a lot of good things about Peerless bourbon. I mean, a lot of good things about it. And I've had their small batch uh, bourbon before, which I thought was good. You know, a little bit on the pricier side, right? Around $80. But I heard their barrel picks are phenomenal. So, the question was, is it worth the hype or is it not? All right, so what do we know about Peerless bourbon? So, first and foremost... Peerless or Peerless Distillery, Distillery started back in 1889 by the gentleman by the name of Henry Craver. Like many other distilleries, did very well up until Prohibition, which is Prohibition just killed it killed the bourbon industry. The distillery itself did continue to uh, sell their bourbon, but for medicinal purposes, which I always think is funny. Um, I would have had a lot of medicinal purposes. <laughs> Had I lived during the uh, Prohibition time, um, but they did sell during the uh, Prohibition time, but for, again, medicinal purposes only. Uh, but then after that was over, after Prohibition was still kind of going on, like many other distilleries, they just kind of folded in, you know, here we are now. So how do they make the comeback? How do they start all over again? Two gentlemen named by the name of uh, Cor uh, Corky, who is the great grandson, fourth generation, and his son, Carson Taylor. So these are fourth and fifth generation uh, from Henry Craver, but their names are Corky and Carson Taylor. Um, the family wanted to bring back the Kentucky uh, Peerless um, name back to the bourbon world. So hard work and effort, effort rather. In 2015, they started back up in Louisville, Kentucky. And again, this is the first bottle bourbon that uh, they um, first bottle bourbon rather for Kentucky Peerless in over a hundred years. So, you know, 98 to be exact, but let's just round up to a hundred. It sounds better. Um, so the, the company itself, obviously a little bit newer. They started back in 2015. So when you think of not only this bourbon, but any bourbon from coming from them, it's gonna have an age anywhere from four, max six years, right? Started in 2015 or in 2021. So it's anywhere from like four to six years. We don't know the exact um, uh, age, but it's in that four to six year range. From a Mashable standpoint, they do not disclose the exact Mashable, but it's said to have like a high corn Mashable, so in like that high 70s, maybe even like up to like 80, but let's just call it like the high 70 range from a Mashable perspective. And again, from a price standpoint, standard uh, Peerless, now if you go with the standard Peerless small batch bourbon, even though it is barrel proof, it's still like an $80 bottle, which is kind of pricey. And again, I thought the regular small batch bourbon was good, but a single barrel is $125. So this one here I got at the distillery is $125. But a lot of my friends said, hey, Bourbon Judge, it's worth it. Trust me, you need to go to the distillery, find a, a really good pick, and uh, I guarantee you'll like it. So we're gonna see whether or not if, uh, if my friends uh, hopefully did not let me down. <laughs> um, 
But when you think about this one, so this one comes in at 108.3 proof. Again, it's the cowboy version, um, which is kind of cool. You guys see that bottle? It's pretty neat. Not bad at all. So the master distiller, Caleb. Um, Caleb Kilburn has been doing a really good job when you think of just what I love about uh, Peerless is the fact that not only is their stuff sold in almost all states across the U.S., you can also buy their bourbon and their rice online through their uh, actual distillery. So if you go to Kentucky, I think it's KentuckyPeerless.com, uh, and I'll put the link up above. You can buy their bourbon and their rice online. And in fact, I did not know this, you can also buy their single barrels online, which is pretty damn cool. Not a lot of distilleries do that, but you can actually buy their single barrel products online and get it shipped to you. Folks, that by itself is pretty damn amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. So we know this bad boy again, 108 proof for this one here, this cowboy version, 108.3, coming in at $124, $125, so kind of pricey. Again, the age, uh, anywhere from four to six years, we don't know the exact, but it is a single barrel expression. And so when, um, when they're pulling and they're picking their single barrels, it's supposed to be the criminal, the crim. I'm talking about just straight up the bad boys, like the really, really good, good barrel picks, right? So we're gonna see whether or not, um, whether or not if uh, Caleb did a great job with picking this one here, we shall see. Mmm, that nose is nice. Damn, and look at that color. That is like a beautiful dark copper, extremely dark. Before I get to the nose and the palette, folks, just want to say thank you for everyone watching the video. Thank you for all my patrons who help support the channel. I really do appreciate all your love and support. Um, thank you for everyone out there also who watches the channel. I need three favors though, again, Number one, please hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. You guys always know I love going back and forth. I try to reply to every comment if possible. Um, and last but not least, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way, you know whenever I'm putting out a new video, you get the notification. We're all happy and uh, we can kind of go from there. Cool? All right. Let's get into that news. Enough talking. Time for sipping. So, oh my gosh, that nose is really nice. Wow, Caleb, I will say, you did a fantastic job on the nose. Wow, so I get, hmm, this is very interesting and very different. I get a ton of like caramel, but what's folded in on top of the caramel is like cherries, leather, cinnamon, some pepper. Yeah, so this is like, I mean, that's really it. It's like uh, tons of caramel with cherries folded in, some leather, some cinnamon, some pepper. Mmm. That cherry just kind of stands out though. It's very interesting. The cherry is definitely interesting. Kind of folded up in, in, with everything else. All right, folks, it's been a long week. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Thank you again for always watching the channel. Here's to you guys. And gals. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Tasty. <laughs> that is pretty damn tasty. All right, let me get a little bit more. Wow, that's different. That is very different, honestly. Whoo. Goodness gracious. Wow. The Bourbon Cowboy. Mmm. That is nice. You guys see that bottle? That is pretty damn cool, too. Mmm. Hold on. Let me get a little bit more of the ring. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll get a decision here in the courtroom. Mmm. Okay. So, very upfront. You guys know. I'm always going to give you an honest, an honest verdict each and every day, no matter what. Everything from the nose transferred to the palate. What I really enjoyed about this is that what's still, it's, number one, it's a very long finish. Long, but not, it's like powerful, but not like overwhelming, knock you out, right? Again, this one comes in at 108.3 proof. It's a long finish, um, but it resonates and stays in your mouth, right? Even right now, I'm still kind of tasting it kind of in my mouth, which is nice still going down as well everything from the nose transfers to the palate you get a ton of like the uh the caramel 
the cherry, the leather, the cinnamon, and the, uh, the pepper all folded in very nicely. This is completely different than your regular small batch uh, peerless bourbon. Those are pretty decent, pretty good. This, folks, the judgment is in, is damn good. So I will say, now I've only had this one, but I will say this single barrel from Peerless is fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> um, actually, you know what the funny thing is, is that when I went to Westport Whiskey and uh, Wine or Spirits, I always forget the last part, part of it, but the Westport Whiskey in Louisville, the guy there in the tasting room, he was like, hey, they just got in. The most recent single barrel, the Cowboy, he said it's fantastic. He said most of their stuff is pretty good. They're single barrels. He's like, you need to go check this out. I bought it just hoping and praying that it was delicious. And folks, I am telling you, that is wonderful. A non-chill filtered sweet mash. That's damn good. Folks, happy 4th of July. Peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Talk to you guys soon. Later.